All right, we're back again. Now what we do, we're trying to test the voltage of each battery. But we're not going to go all that through on camera because it's, it's a long process. I have lots more to do with this. Okay, folks? Um, this is how we do it. You got to turn it on the DC part, which is here. Zero out here. On the battery, you can see this one's here, negative, positive, okay? So we're gonna put one here, 7.96 or 97 volt. I hope you caught that on camera. See that? Right there, register. So we're gonna go back this. Make sure be careful. 7.9697 volt, the same thing. So crisscross the wire again. The same. Same. So this tells us it's a healthy battery we have here, folks. We are so fortunate. Oh, yeah. I saw that spike quick. It was eight. See that? So let's come back to this one here and interchange. It's dropping. Okay. Cross. Healthy, healthy battery we have here. See that? So now, super. So I'm going to just make approximation or estimate that all the battery, all the battery is going to be the same. Because if we are to have a problem, well, we can find maybe one right away. The voltage is all the same. Very super healthy battery here. For 2011 battery with uh, just, I think it's a 60 something thousand, 64,000 miles on it, on the car. Well, I think I can stop the test from there. I'm really quite satisfied. At least we, if we have damaged batteries, some of them would have been shown. But Checking these batteries, and uh, I already went through four, eight, 12 batteries. I think um, this is way okay at this time. So this is how you test Nissan Leaf batteries. If you haven't done this before, I'm just showing you here live we're doing at the studios, JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Subscribe, like, and share. Will you? Bye. All right, we're trying to disable now the batteries. Disassemble. Ah, keep saying this word. Disassemble the batteries. <laughs> so, so. See? Now my drill. All done. Everything comes apart. Really simple and easy with the power of Bosch. The German made. And this is just an 18 volt lithium. It's a lithium power tearing down lithium. Is that not crazy? So, this is how we do it. Right here, JW Solar USA. Let's continue with business here. All right, we're taking all the bolts out. See how it is? Long, long, long bolts. It might be useful, recycle, who knows? Always have to have things handy, because you never know when you need something like this. It's gonna be recycled, all right? It's a big plate here. It's going to be out. And check this out. The packs are all apart. And here, don't forget, is a sensor. Wow. This is tough now. Here's the sensor probe. There we go. That's the probe right there. This is the one that monitors the temperature. It's always on the last pack, the bottom side of it. The bottom, that. 
so the sensor goes right there. So because, you know, heat rises, so it started heating up from the bottom. Sometimes because of the heat from the car, you know, it tries to condense, and the heat rises just like a, um, evaporates, like how something goes up. And um, the sensor is capturing it, and it's getting from the readings from the top one. It's probably get overheated. Maybe the car parked somewhere for so long, really hot, whatever. So the sensor is determining the charge, you know, how, how many amps or voltage you regulate the speed of the charge. To say, hey, don't throw too much uh, power in because I'm getting hot to keep the uh, batteries from, you know, being on flames. Like uh, the story on the news about lithium batteries get on fire, fire. They already get so much better. Look at all the protection, safety. So, folks, don't be afraid to go on lithiums. This is the future right here. One pack of these. It's a seven point. No. Is uh, 7.95 volts, something like that. You watch the video, you'll see that. So, oh, let me, let me just make it easier for you guys. We have the DC voltmeter here, voltameter. So let's keep it this way, zero out, okay? DC volt, zero. So if we stick one of these, to this battery and stick one of these, oh boy, see one of these, yep, see that voltage? Let me bring it on this side, 7.97 volts, 9697. So it covers a lot. I think uh, approximately what? I don't know if I can do this, ooh, I'm, a, I'm scared. It's supposed to show the amperage. I don't know. I think it's 65 amps on each cell. So I'll do more research into that. I'll let you know. But I know probably 64, 63 amps. So it's all done. Ta-da. Look at that. Y'all here. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.